Uh, well, you know, I always try to jump in the cold water. <laughs> so um, the only thing I, I, I did now is I prepared, you know, a few sounds and I have to build up a live composition from scratch. That's what I'm trying to do. So it always depends on the atmosphere, feedback of the, of the audience and all that. So let's see. The studio is pretty much very um, conservative, actually multi-track classic recording. <laughs> In life I try out new things, I just mix together things that I want to listen to, you know, and maybe find out something about it. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's less, I think, instead of becoming more clean, it became actually less clean. <laughs> Unstable. <laughs> yeah. It's very unstable. I'm trying to find balance. If there's only a concept without any emotional impact, it doesn't work for me. And the other way around is just the same. So there has to be the right balance, and that's what I'm trying to find all the time. That's so difficult. You know, you know I've been growing up at this big lake. I think that has a big influence also. I can't really 100% describe what it is, but apparently it does play a role in, in my work, yeah. I really consider myself being on a learning curve, you know, and when I work with other people, I can learn something from them working methods or aesthetics or whatever and um, nice background sound. Huh? Mike Patton was calling me last year and he invited me to play with him at the Victoriaville Festival in Canada and I had no idea how this was going to be and we just improvised on stage but it was absolutely amazing I thought. A bit like the Pet Shop Boys from Hell, you know. <laughs> There's still so many things for me to explore and I'm not finished yet, you know, it's I've just started, I always have the impression. I want to try out different things. I want to become better, you know. <laughs> 